Yeah, so I think things tend to look like a total mess before they get really good. That's the thing about art, you know, you start, you get quiet, so you stop talking, don't even think. Now, Leslie, do you think that we're so time conscious in our world of um, hyper perfectionism mm -hmm. and achievement? Do you think that to a certain degree, one of the reasons people don't want to engage in creativity is because they're afraid of not just failure, but wasting time? Yeah. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah. Oh, I think that to me, that was huge. Because, uh, yeah, if I can't do it really well, and why am I doing it? You know, I, I, but I think a lot of people also don't realize that, the, you know, creativity doesn't even have to be art. Like, you can wash dishes creatively. It's more of an approach to life. And you're doing stuff because it's fun. Well, Dr. Mm -hmm. Glasser used to say one of the five needs, basic needs, was uh, fun and he related fun to it dovetails with learning absolutely because when you're learning you're taking in new information and processing it and oh, it's yeah. stimulating creativity the process of creativity is one of learning, hence fun. And coming back to the our point about how our feelings have shifted and changed by just engaging in this. Mm, yep. Then we've got the healing taking place. Centering. Getting there, it needs to dry and then add other highlights. While you've been painting, I've just been playing with perspective. Oh, perspective and stuff, yeah. Sure. And a dot. Yeah balls or dots dots cool it's interesting because i do find that no matter like we talk about writer's block hmm is it creativity block sure yeah it's getting out of your nut not getting out of your nut getting it's getting out of your getting out of your nut no, shutting down your internal conversation, your internal, um, <laughs> yeah. arguing oh. and and listening to, you know, instead of trying to control the process, just going empty and then seeing what shows up. Yeah, yeah. And also accepting the process. Enjoyed it. But there is a little niggly piggly that's in the back of my mind that... I'm not so happy with the product. Is part of that, that is part of the process. You're, I mean, every time we sit down, I know for me, every time I sit down, I'm not, I don't immediately create something wonderful. It takes sometimes weeks of coming right. back. And, and often I think, oh, I've completely destroyed this. And then I add something and, and all of a sudden it pops out. It's like, oh my goodness. And so it, that's part of the process is being okay with creating something that you're not happy with yet. And it's judgment. We all have this nasty little judge inside us um, that we judge, we judge ourselves, we judge other people, we judge situations, we judge ourselves, good, bad. And bottom line is, who knows this old story who knows what is good who knows what is bad 
um, because sometimes good things come out of bad things. If bad things ha didn't happen, you wouldn't have had the good thing. Um, so that judge is uh, is something that, that you ha we have to learn to identify. You're never going to get rid of them ever. It's part of the process. You develop them when you're kids. But, but to be able to say, ah, oh, it's my judge. 